I'll first be using this summer sign that I got from Dollar Tree, but I will be using the back side. So first I'm using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color plaster. I did end up doing two coats of this. You wanna just allow the first coat to completely dry and then apply the second coat and then allow everything to completely dry after that. Once that was dry, I just used my sanding block all throughout the sign just to make sure that there are no brush strokes. So now using some blue painter's tape, I am just going to be placing the painter's tape going horizontally. First, I'm starting off with the first piece of tape right into the center of the sign, and then I'm placing two other pieces of uh, tape on the top and the bottom and then that middle piece is going to be used as my spacer so you want to just continue moving that spacer all throughout the sign so that way you know that you have nice even lines i then am mixing a little bit of waverly chalk paint in plaster and waverly in elephant so this is going to be the lightest layer of this buffalo check technique so once you have that all nice and mixed in you want to just apply the paint where the opening is in between the blue painters tape and then before that dries go ahead and just peel that off and allow everything to completely dry now we're going to be doing the same thing with the blue painters tape except this time we're going to be going vertically so i always start that first piece in the center apply two on both sides and then take that middle piece and move it to the left or to the right and again that middle piece is always going to be your spacer and then just do that all along the entire sign again going vertically once you have the tape going all the way across you then just want to add a, another coat of that mixture of the plaster and elephant chalk paints. And then for this step, you want to allow the chalk paint to completely dry and you don't want to pull off that blue painter's tape. And once that layer is completely dry, now you're gonna go back over the entire sign where you originally had put down that blue painter's tape the first time. It's hard to see on camera, but in person, you will be able to kind of see where the white squares are. That is where you want to place that blue painter's tape back over again. And now this time, this is going to be your darkest colored chalk paint. So I'm just going directly out of that elephant chalk paints bottle and then just filling in the squares with that chalk paint and then go ahead and just pull that off and now you have this awesome buffalo check technique allow that to completely dry isn't that so awesome i then just got this metal vintage truck decor from dollar tree i am just using three jenga blocks and i'm just using some adhesive glue that i got from dollar tree with a mixture of hot glue and placing those on the back of the truck this is just going to add a little bit more depth so i could adhere the truck to the sign so I added some more adhesive glue with hot glue to the back of the Jenga blocks and just glued the truck to the sign. I then just made a fluffy bow using one of my bow makers. Just used this pumpkin and buffalo check ribbon. I just hot glued that to the top of the sign and then I just grabbed some raffia. It made a cute little bow out of that as well. Hot glued that in the center of the fluffy bow cut off the tail so that way it was not very long and there you go guys how singing cute did this come out it was so fun to create i hope this inspires you to create your own if it did please be sure to sprinkle the love thank you so so much and i hope y'all have a good rest of your day thanks bye